Torque Master. Now, Torque Master actually got some good wins under his belt already with the Game and Watch beat uh, T3 Dome, and, he and then he beat, beat Charlie. Nice. Uh, and now he's here to try to take it over Master Mario. Oh my god, we're already at winner's quarters. My, how the time is flying by. So starting off, we're going to be getting Game Watch versus Mario on PS2. You can only assume that this Mario isn't going to be good for Game Watch, but Game Watch doesn't care about Master when he has up B. Yeah, exactly. He, Master's going to be looking at trying to approach him with things like the Fireball, but he can catch it with the bucket, use the invincibility to beat the grab, and then up B him anyway. Game Watch does not care how safe your moves are. He's got an escape plan. I, and the other thing is, Game & Watch's up B again can be such a good combo breaker where Master's going to be trying to combo him and he's just going to get hit with the up B, but as long as Master's combos are airtight like that, it doesn't yeah. matter. It doesn't matter. If it's a true combo, you're not getting out of anything. Exactly. Mario, especially in this game, not one with really a lot of like 50-50 mix-ups where you can do something out of it. He just has a lot of Ooh. things that you can't do anything about. That was a good bait. Excuse me. A good bait on the up B. Uh, Shield Master jumped in and drifted back, waited for the up B, but then he wasn't able to punish the landing key. He's going to have to figure out how he's going to be able to do that throughout this set. And again, once Work Master is getting, the, getting these hits in, they're all usually in the air, all of these areas. I was going to say, I don't know how he's going to kill, but you know what? Shut me up. Get, Get him with the chair. The chair. I actually reads the roll, but I think goes a little too far uh, forward. All right, double up here into the nail, gonna just force him back off stage, but an aggressive double jump with if the backer onto stage. Gonna actually put Master in a bad spot here. It's down throw into up air, down air, that will connect, and it almost killed Game Watch at 90%. That was even at like, not even that far up to the stage. He's 2D, what do you think? Yeah, how did that grab not hit him? It like went through him. Either way, air dodging off stage, doesn't matter. He's gaming watch, down to into the back here. Almost gonna kill good DI from Quirk Master, keeping him alive for just a little bit longer. Master's gonna be looking for another one of these back here, maybe. Now, keeping game watch at these ledges is so difficult to get away, but as I say that, game watch, you know, if you're not gonna get a frame tight punish, you're gonna get upbeat. Exactly, you have to kinda just beat him at his own game right now, where he's gonna try and do something, and you have to beat it out. Because you're not going to approach this character. Master's already learned with key charges of the Bucky Online, he can't be throwing fireballs to try and approach and make him force him into shield. I mean, even if he does shield it, he still has the up so he's not going to just be able to like land on him with a backer or things like that. Finally get the mind that backer's not going to kill. Just a little too stale. And uh, while Mass Warrior is ready to kill, Torque Master's been slowly building up this lead, and that is just the nature of Game of Watch. He's able to chip this damage in so much. And he's, oh my god, that almost killed it. 90%. Like I said, it's already, it's exactly. already even. Exactly. He, uh, Master adapting. He lost his first stock to the same setup. He knew better this time. Just holds shield and gets the back throw. Gonna be able to take a nut or extend his lead here. Down there, almost taking Master off the top. A good DI from him. Who I like the patience. Yeah, Torcaster is not all the way out of it yet. He just needs to find a kill, kind of stand on the ground and get one of these kill moves off. That down tilt might have been able to take it. Ooh, Master was looking for an air dodge, but as always, Torque Master gonna up be out of that situation. Says, I don't want to deal with it. Don't want you to try and read my air dodge with forward air like Master went for. But Master really pulling ahead right now, getting a lot of favorable trades with his back air. Right, both of us trying these up smashes. Right, another steel chair, but Master Mario able to jump out of it. He knows these are coming whenever Torque Master lands a big hit on his shield. It's gonna be a chair to follow up. Go, another chair to the face gonna take that stock. 110 on Twerk Master, but that's that's nothing really for Game Watch. He's gonna be able to bring this back. He just needs to get back to the center stage and get one of his conversions. I like this place that the ledge he's doing. Don't want to try to get off the ledge against Mario a little too hesitant. One wrong mistake and you're gonna die. Exactly, and he's doing a good job of just mixing up going on and off stage with these up these things like that. Just to kind of mess with Master's timing, make it a little more difficult. There's so many hitboxes out at a time with the bomb and the chef, but Master calling out that jump. There's the up smash he's been looking for. Yeah, caught Torque Master going in, trying to get one of these back ears. To get some damage coming in, and Master perfectly calling up that up smash. You know, Mario's head, can't touch it. Game one, gonna go to Master. Slowly but surely.
All right, going to be getting into game number two here. No character switches. These two just ready for any matchup that may present itself with their own character. And again, you say both of these games, these are the characters that come to mind. You don't really know them for playing anyone else. So. Master is in their name, man. Even if uh, Cork Master isn't necessarily his character, he, he's got it down. Yeah. All right, Masamura looking for the grabs, not finding anything. The key does have a rather big landing hitbox, but good punish on the chef there with an up throw. Master scouting out that landing, the Torque Master's doing. I love this patience he's uh, implementing. He's just waiting to see what Torque Master's gonna do, and no matter what, he's gonna have an option for it, either an up air or a down air. All right, Master trying to get these uh, fireball approaches, but. Maybe he forgot about last game when he realized he couldn't be doing that anymore. Or maybe he just thought he could time it differently. Oh my god. What? Big charge on the F smash. Ooh. Ooh. Game Watch tried to go in and punish it, but you know, Mario reeling back with that F smash. And the up smash is going to almost take it from uh, Torque. In the chair, the only, exclusively the only thing that's been taking Master Mario stocks. I really. I think it has, actually. Oh, he keeps him. Yeah, but then again, it, it doesn't matter. I like the idea for Master, though. A little bit lower, and maybe that could have been it, but. Yeah, against characters with more linear recovery, that definitely would have been it. But you saw Torque Master, who like, was so calm and so composed. Like, all right, I know if I just don't, you yeah. know, spaghetti, I can make this back. That's the experience right there. Not panicking, waiting for the cape stun to wear out so he could regain control of his character. Game and watch throwing out an up smash. Master Mario has an up smash that's even faster. All right, Quick Master on the ledge. He rolls on a Master committing to a down tilt, not able to cover it. It's in the water back. I don't want it. <laughs> wow, I did not. That was not the option I thought would have come off the ledge. Was uh, putting out the frying pan. The bears are gonna send him up, but you know it's not gonna kill. But this damage is slowly racking up. Remember when that move killed? Remember two two. Bring back a uh, hoo haws. I play Inkling, I still have it. Yeah, but bring back more of Nah. Alright, anyways, Master Mario able to take that stock. One more, and he will secure himself a top five place in here. Putting himself in winner summons. Oh my god, Torque Master actually went all the way across with the smash tax. One of these is going to hit, and unfortunately he was wrong. We're all wrong sometimes, you know, he, he tried. At this point, like... He's got to go for something. Exclusive and chair stocks. And I like it. The pivot cancel with f tote to get the little extra slide at the end. The game watch looking like a WWE wrestler. Yeah, Ma I swear, Master's got, like, next, Master drops this game. He's going to be standing for the rest of the set saying, I, do, I want nothing to do with these yeah, chairs, please man. Please move these chairs away from me. <laughs> get these chairs out of here, please. We're standing only venue now. And if this damage is coming off, gets back there, tries to go for frame trap, almost getting hit by that F smash. I, that probably would have killed. Yeah, but you know that was a really good trap from Twerk Master actually reading the air dodge through him and being having his back already to Master. So when Master crossed him up, he was able to jab and get the punish out. Right. This is still a, a scary situation for both players because they're not guaranteed anything. But as I say that. Master calls out the key with an upbeat, able to take him off the top. Definitely pulls the trigger on that. On that one, gonna make sure, take him off the top and 